the potato chips lover. Chip, with his unique teleporting abilities, is creating havoc by summoning anyone, anywhere, according to his wish. Need backup. Want a dragon to come to your rescue, or do you want to take a shortcut for your car to save fuel? Chip portals can do some insane tricks like these with ease. Damn! Come, let's check out what all he can do with his ultimate. <laughs> Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will do some crazy experiments with our newest addition to MLBB, Hero number 124, Chip. Our new hero Chip is one of the unique addition to MLBB with this global teleport ultimate. I am sure you already checked out this video and know about his skill sets completely. If you haven't, then make sure to do it now. The link is in the top right corner to learn everything about him. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the experiments. Starting with our Miss Copycat Valentina. Mommy Valentina, infamous for stealing other ultimates. Can she open portals for allies like Chip? From the looks of it, she can. You may be a unique hero chip, but mommy can easily steal your portal creating ability and even summon connecting portals to allies. Sayonara. Another hero, another OP ultimate to steal, just mommy thing. Get out of here, man. What about our strongest ninja, Hanzo? Can he use his demon form to travel around the map while sitting at the base? Damn, Hanzo can easily use Chip's portal to dive into enemies while performing ninjutsu at the base. Too much of a beneficiary of Chip's portal. Our forgotten ninja can finally shine again on the battlefield if paired with our Chip. Let's check out the slimy guy Glue. What do you think can Glue hope on the enemy and force them to teleport? It's just too easy for Glue. He can force anyone to use the portals against their wish. My guy, it's illegal to force things. But seems 911 isn't responding in this case of Glue. With the slimy boy able to force himself and others into the portal. Let's see if our fact XC Johnson can drive through it. Ready to roll in 3, 2, one. Bro, bro, why take the longer route when you can instantly cover half of the map just like that? Mr. Optimum Pride, what else can you do? I mean, how does it work? A car driving through portals? I don't think even scientists can imagine it. But what I would love to imagine is a big black dragon bending the fabric of space and reality. Yuzong can easily jump in between Chip's portal and unleash his Dragonoid form, making everyone obey. No the big black dragon will just become more fierce on the battlefield after traveling half of the map like it's nothing and unleashing his deadly skill combos. Let's see if we can enter Domain Expansion. Can we get into Yen's Ultimate? Let's check it out. Sadly, the Teleportation Jutsu can't teleport us inside the Domain. Sad, it would be so cool if Chip could summon anyone inside the Domain. But no time for grief, let's move on to some Blink experiments. Starting with Alice. Alice can instantly teleport to her skill 1 orb easily. But what if we combine Alice teleport and Chip's portal? We get this instant map travel. I don't think this will be useful in matches, but doesn't this look cool? She can easily teleport anywhere on the map with Chip's ultimate and doesn't even need the connecting portal to make it back. Moving on to Lady Killer Karina. Let's try if Lady Killer can also do instant teleportation after using her ultimate. 
as you know Karina leaves the shadow behind the enemy's back when she ultimate and when we combine it with chips portal it's just out of this world imagine a Karina who's already uses both the main portal and connecting portal to go back comes again playing like this through the map a rare and cool sight to witness not every day you see a flying Karina right but what about the flying lady Fanny can Fanny use her cable through the portal? Of course she can. She can't move freely as her first cable gets stuck. But it sure is a great asset to Fanny. All those struggling to cable and manage energy will benefit the most as they can keep their energy full before entering fights. What's the need to show off those 69 cables when you can pop out of portals? Okay. Let's check out how Shadow Performer Hayabusa performs. Just like Karina Shadow, Hayabusa can also teleport using his shadow. This can have a great impact as Haya will easily be able to finish off enemies and come back to the base Another great asset for our Shadow Master Haya. Let's see if we can create some cool jumps with Lilia. We are all familiar with Lilia's ultimate and as expected, Lilia just easily travel back again onto battlefield with a magic shoe. Looks cool to watch and can be done easily. She can go in team fight, return back from the battlefield using the connecting portal and head into the battlefield with her ultimate. After some crazy teleportation, let's see if we can take the enemies with us too. Starting with Spear Boy Jalong, we have to time this one. After the main portal opens up, go inside the portal and stand on the connecting portal till 3 blinks and use first skill and boom, you can take enemies directly to your base. Isn't this broken? Spear Boy sure pulled a big one with Chip's portal. Let's take another hero, infamous for his work, Heavenly Rooster Kaja. As we know, nothing can escape Kaja's divine judgment, but can he pull enemies inside the portal to take them along with him? And looks like he can't. Whether it's the main portal or the connecting portal used to travel back, nothing works. The enemy hero just stops at the other side of the portal. Finally, someone can break Kaja's Divine Judgment. But what about Papa Franco? Can we use the portals while using hooks and the almighty suppression ultimate? Even Papa Franco fails to pull off this one. I almost tasted in all the places on the map and multiple times because I wanted to do those fountain hooks. Ah, the OG days in ML. But we can do this hook. If Franco's hook's path crosses the portal while he is hooking, then we can do this iconic hook. After pulling the enemy to base, Jilong Boy came here to be pulled within portal. Papa says what if I can't fountain pull, I will do it my own style. Now let's check out L Dog. Can we fly through the portal using Older's ultimate? Indeed we can. This is a bit tricky as the portal and the enemy hero should be placed exactly perpendicular to each other to pull this off. But to be honest, if the conditions are right, but this is the one of the best shortcuts for Mr. L-Dog. I don't think this situation will be present in actual matches as our hero movements are haphazard and L-Dog won't be able to control the flight path once in the air. But it was sure cool to experiment with. Let's move on to Ling. Can we pass through the portals when using Ling's ultimate? Sure, we can. Ling can easily use this to surprise the enemy and knock them up quickly and unleash his sword dance. This is great benefit for Ling as he is invincible in his ultimate and can easily jump into team fights while being invincible and knock them up directly. Let's check out Lancelot's lover, Audit. Just imagine Audit's coming out of the portal already using her ultimate in a team fight and turning the tides of battle easily. Yes, you can use the ultimate's blink to go inside the portal and create havoc in the team fight. 
who wants a ride when you can instantly give tremendous AoE damage to the enemies. Now let's move on to check out our Beyblade Akai. As you can see here, we can easily use Akai's ultimate while passing through the portal. And even make enemies push them inside it possibly. So we have another challenger who can force enemies inside the portal. It's more like pushing them inside, not taking them along with you. This can be very helpful in team fights as we can instantly disturb the enemy team with Akai's heavy spin. With Akai done, let's experiment with Kufra. Can we use Kufra's first skill to pass through the portal and make our jump extend the range? Nobody could ever think of. From the looks of it, it's just another cakewalk for our living spring Kufra. Kufra can easily charge his first skill outside the portal and just have to aim inside the portal to have an instant jump on the enemies. And let's conclude our experiments with Dino Boy Barrett. Can Dino Boy's new ultimate charge up help him through the portal? Yes, with ease, just like Kufra Barrett can also easily pass through the portals using his new ultimate blink. We can do this trick with Barrett too. The Notorious Fountain Pull Part 2 Just like Zhilong, time your ultimate on 3 blink and you can pull them to your base. Is it just me or Barret's tongue looks so sus while pulling the enemies? So after trying so many heroes and different types of skills, I can conclude that all the allies and enemies can use their blink skills like Harley and Claude. Charge skills like Kufra, Tigril's second skill, and transform skills like Yu Zhong's ultimate, and Farsa and Bird form to pass through the portals. And throwing skills, Chow Kick, Barret's ultimate also work but needs very accurate aim. Our pulling heroes like Milsidar and Franco can hook them only if the portal is in their hook path. Remember everything that allies can do with Chip's portal can also be done by enemies. I am sure this will change the dynamics of the game and make it more interesting and unpredictable when Chip is present on the battlefield. So what do you think? Is our new hero Chip is broken? Will he stay in permabands and drafts? What else do you think we can do more with him? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.